Hi, and welcome to the end of week four. Wow, what a journey it's been to uh, do this weight loss journey. Um, I feel good about where I ended up. And um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys a lot of pictures. And um, I just want to say right off the bat that don't look at the number in the scale, on the scale. And I think I've said that throughout this whole video. Just don't look at the number on the scale. See how your clothes fits you. See how you're looking. Are you building muscle? Um, that's what's important, not the number on the scale because a lot of things can throw off that number. One day you can weigh a certain weight and then the next day it can change and your weight can just fluctuate so much that it, it does become... Uh, discouraging and it does become a deterrent in your journey but uh for me this is uh you know a continuation of um my journey of staying healthy and um you know i didn't really want to lose um my muscle and that was important to me to start rebuilding it when I stopped working out, my muscles got mushy very quickly, but anyway, this is a really long intro, but let's get on to the end of week four, and as always, I'll share the workout videos down below. This morning I decided to come out for a walk and it's such a beautiful day so I decided that I'm gonna walk for I don't know maybe an hour depending on how far I get <laughs> so I haven't ran in a long time I really want to run but not today it's hard to believe that I used to run this way down to where that truck is at every day every day three miles and now I just walked two and a half miles in more time than I used to I used to be able to run this three miles in 30 minutes so times have a changed but um, I think once you start working out and start getting into a routine then you'll start getting building the endurance and the strength and uh, you know I feel stronger I feel stronger every day I know I'm building muscle I can see the definition in my body so um, you know again don't focus on that number on the scale because that is not indicative of what's happening in your body like I said my clothes are fitting good these uh, jogging pants that used to feel a little snug feel good so you know don't give up just because the scale doesn't say exactly what you want it to because most of the time it's not I say the scales the devil <laughs> so anyway Hang in there, just keep going, keep rolling, and you'll see, you'll see the results come. God bless.
finished that step workout and whew, it kicked my butt big time. So I wouldn't do that step workout early on in the weight loss journey just because you have to build up your endurance. You have to start slow because if you don't start slow, you're going to burn out quickly. And so I still like barely made it to the end. I had to stop like right before she was done and, and be careful with that step because that can be very dangerous, especially if you've never done step before um, and you don't know where it's at. It can really, uh, you can really get hurt. So you have to be very careful if you're going to do that workout, but I'll link it down below. And that was an easy, easy 250 to 300 calorie burn workout so it's very effective i like it uh, i've done it before in the past but um like i said it's it's better to do it as you progress and uh so anyway i am drenched i mean i am like so drenched but anyway good workout today so sorry i'm moving the camera a lot but i just i'm weak <laughs>
I was at 130.8 and then I weighed myself today and I was at 130.9. So my weight is still fluctuating slightly, but not too bad. So the total weight loss, I guess, would be 3.1, 3 pounds, depending on how much I weigh tomorrow. <laughs> and these are my final numbers on my chest area. Below my chest area was 30.5. Uh, on my chest area, it was 34.5. My waist is at 29.5. My hips at 36.5. My arms at 10.5. My legs at 18 inches. And my calves at 12.5 inches. So, if I compare it to... Last week, I lost a pound, 1.1 pounds or one pound. And then my chest, below my chest, went down to a 30.5, so like 1.5 inches. My chest area went from a 35 to a 34.5. My waist went from a 30.5 to a 29.5, so I lost a good inch there. That was pretty good. Uh, my arms stayed the same. My legs stayed the same. My hips stayed the same. My calves maybe a quarter inch smaller at 12.5 from this week three. So in total, I lost three inches from my chest two inches below my chest, two inches in my waist, 1.5 inches in my arms, 36.5 inches in my hips. I'm sorry, wait a minute, I did that wrong. <laughs> my hips stayed at one inch. Sorry, I was... I wrote down the measurement from up here instead of taking off. So last week it was one inch and since that number didn't change, I only lost one inch for my hips. Um, my legs and my calves were one inch and half an inch. Okay, and so just to end, I want to share a couple of pictures of me. And uh, for my, uh, I guess incentive to keep going. I bought myself a new dress for the wedding, which is tomorrow. And um, I'm gonna share a couple of pictures with you guys. Um, my Gucci belt fits in the very last notch on the belt, which was very uh, exciting to me. You know, I could see that the inches came off and uh, just to be able to put that belt in the last, you know, uh, holding the belt was great. I mean, I was so excited about that. I feel more toned. I feel amazing. And so that's what's important about all of this. Feel good about your journey. Don't starve yourself. Don't do fad diets. Don't do anything that you cannot do long term because you'll just start building this cycle of not being able to uh, stay in a healthy place. So I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. Pictures next. Bye.